to a violent livelihood, um, a, a violent existence. And, and that's true on all cases. You, that's true. It's violence. Now, the being deemed a serial killer simply means that they've killed um, two or more people, three or more people, I think, three or more people um, over the course of time. And many times we don't know about these other murders until we get to the last one and we're, we go backwards. We, you know, we don't go forward in our investigation. We always go backwards. So those are some of the things, the dialogues that we have to figure out how to have those with parents or guardians when we identify some of these traits in our children in the classroom, you can't just, we cannot continue brushing that off and saying, well, it's going to be someone else's problem next year. I've got them for the rest of this. I've got them for four more months. I'm done. We cannot do that. We can't keep doing that. Um, and I mean, I still see that in today's classrooms and it's, I'm not saying anything bad about educators. I've been there myself. But um, we have to have those tools available to us to make those decisions. And I don't feel like we have those yet. So just a, just a reminder as to why I do this podcast. It's very important to me to figure out how to serve these children the most effective way. You know, I, I'm a childhood development specialist and I, you can pick out things about children but then what happens when you do pick those out? How do we get those things? How do we work on those? How do we improve those? How do we intervene? And what is it that we do? Um, again, that's why we did our yoga study. That's that attributional retraining. You're going to hear me say that as long as I do podcasts. You you have to have some mode, modality to intervene with these children and taking them into a, into a room with a counselor and letting them talk for 20 minutes is not going to do it. It's not going to do it. Does it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. Is it something that's going to cause systemic changes? No, it's not. We have to do more. And that's what we're looking at. So today, of course, Stacy Castor, she was born Stacy Ruth Daniels, but um, interesting case with that crazy twist of where she was trying to um, frame her daughter. So check that out. I'm going to put her photo and some more info on my webpage. Remember that's compositionofakiller.com. And you can look at all the other podcasts that uh, we presented. Um, And if you have any questions or thoughts, you can shoot me an email. It's Dr. Kimberly Cassidy, 89 at gmail.com. I'll be talking to you soon and have a great day.